everyone, Zach here. Uh, today we're looking at the ZMF Reference OTL amp. And uh, the main question I've been getting from people is what's the difference between the ZMF Reference amp and the Deckware CSP3? You can see the CSP3 here on the Deckware site goes for $14.39, where ours has a list price of $41.99. Uh, we do sell it to ZMF owners for $37.99. I know most of you buying the amp um, are ZMF owners. Um, so anyways, if you're interested in that, do email me for a code if you're a ZMF owner and want to grab the amp at the $37.99 price. But obviously that's a pretty big price gamut between the $14.39 and the $37.99. Um, and you know, I worked with Steve on this amp starting uh, all the way back in 2020, 2021. Right as I was developing the atrium and the atrium damping system, I sent him an early prototype of the atrium headphone so that he could look at it and really tune this amp to match, you know, what he thought would sound best with our headphones. Um, and that's why we're calling it the ZMF Reference OTL. So let's go through the amp real quick. Uh, I'll try to be efficient about it. There's a lot of little stuff that kind of adds up. And so the first thing that you'll notice, you know, pretty quickly here, that we have the volume knob on the bottom. Important thing to know here is that Steve uh, when, and I told him, hey, like one thing that kills me on amps is when there is not a uh, volume pot that ramps up too quickly. I want to be able to use the entire volume pot. Um, and so I know that he went and found um, a volume pot that had a very nice slow ramping up. And you can really play around and get the perfect volume because it's a nice slow ramping up on volume. And then the second thing, this attenuator switch. This switch, which is right here, that red thing down there. So this is the cathode cap bypass switch. And the main thing to remember when it's engaged or in the up position is that it's gonna be a little more buttoned up as Steve has told me. And you're gonna have a little more gain when it's disengaged or down. And it's gonna sound, you know, a little more bombastic with that more open disengaged sound. You know, you'll notice uh, over in Steve's uh, video here, uh, is that this is the CSP3 amp that we're looking at from the inside. And these caps, these are the, uh, the coupling caps, the direct output caps that turn this in from a preamp to an OTL headphone amp. And so the important thing here is that not only did we switch the type of caps that we have on the ZMF amp, and we use these MyFlex ones, uh, you can see the original CSP3 has no caps on the top. But on the top of these are these Mallory caps. Steve really sought out to find the best caps that he could put in the amp for the sound and how it matched, you know, the ZMF atriums at the time that I had given him in pre-production of those. And he chose these premium Mallory output caps and they just, they have a really clean, punchy, airy sound. And the thing I like the most about what Steve's choice was with these caps is that the amp Although it's an OTL amp, it doesn't have any of that muddy or murkiness associated with it, um, you know, based on the cap choice that we went for here, but still has that 3D and holographic sound. You know, we list it as a 5U4G, and you know, here I have one of Steve's uh, deckware tubes. But I know that a lot of, you know, tube rolling, if you're buying an OTL amp, tube rolling is one of the most interesting and fun things you're gonna be doing with the amp. You know, that's part of the reason I love tube amps so much, aside from the fact that them sounding good with high impedance dynamic headphones is just that tube rolling is fun. It's just you getting a slightly different sound and tweaking it and seeing how different tubes come out and then the whole process of looking for tubes. I just, I don't know, I like it. So, um, but one of the cool things about this amp is that he increased the, uh, the microfarad on the PSU with DC filtering that allows for a bunch of compatible 
five volt rectifier tubes. So you can throw a bunch of different five volt tubes in here, anything from the GZ34 to a 274B and anything in between. And also to get that noise floor really quiet, he has voltage regulator tubes in each channel, which, I mean, I've brought this amp to a bunch of different shows and meets and venues and also between our shop and my house. And I've never had any kind of problem with noise or anything in this amp. Steve says it's, you know, the best system within an amp he can think of to make sure the background is black and you don't get anything um, causing noise in your system. And I, I would agree. Um, we have these input uh, voltage regulator. It's really like a preamp built into the amp here. And I'll talk about that as we set the, uh, the amplifier up and start to use it as well. But he also used these ultra high quality V-shaped pots um, that are totally sealed and I guess they're like impossible to get dirty and are gonna last forever. And these help you regulate how much voltage you want per side. And I mean, the big deal is, is that in conjunction with this very nice, slowly attenuating volume knob where you can use the entire range, it gives you the chance on this amp to really dial in left and right if you have a slight imbalance either from the music a source or with your headphones and uh, with this knob there's just there's so much more uh, control that you have over uh, your amp where it's really like having a preamp into the otl if you're using it by itself you also don't need to have a preamp into it to get that ultimate volume control because it's already built into the amplifier and so you're never gonna have to worry about what you're inputting into this amp because of this premium uh, preamp inputs with the knobs on each channel as well. And so you can also have two different things plugged in at the same time, controllable through these switches up here. And that's just really helpful. Um, one thing Steve pointed out too, is he used like the ultra expensive 24 karat gold RCA jacks and everything on this amp. And so all the input jacks and everything is upgraded over the CSP as far as that is concerned. And so let's go into the shop, get this thing set up and talk a little bit uh, about how it sounds. So we got the amps all hooked up and we're playing. I just saw Go Go Penguin the other night, so playing some of their classics here. If you like tube rolling and you like being able to hear the different sounds of tubes, you're, you're gonna be able to do that um, to the utmost with an OTL. And the two tubes that I wouldn't roll, you know, Steve says these are by far the best. And I have to say, in all the different ones we tried, you can put 6922 type tubes in those driver stage, but stick with the 6N6Ps. They sound the best, they're the most crisp sounding. But the tubes you can roll a ton are the input tube here and also the rectifier. And you're gonna get quite a few different sounds from both of the changes in there. I'll try to list out all the rectifiers that'll work on the site, but as, as long as it's a five volt rectifier, um, you're, you're probably good to go. As far as using this as a preamp, I mean, it's, it's an amazing preamp. And just using the, the JDS amp here, it's, you know, plugging it into the Caldera, it, it has more space, it has more snap to it um, when it is plugged in to the OTL amp versus on its own. It just kind of turns it into like a super amp. And that's just part of what you're getting with the, the OTL. You can use it as a direct amp. I just, I can't stress this enough. Like plug it into any other amp you have, it's, it's gonna be awesome. Um, so I, you know, go do it. So yeah, that's the uh, overview of the Decor amp here. And uh, definitely mess around with the settings and everything on here. Find what, you know, volume knob setting you like the most as far as the front and then on the back end for the input for whichever source you're using. And mess around with these tubes here to find which tubes you like the most. We're definitely sending it with 
um, premium tubes. You know, if you like what it comes with, I've you know chose these specifically for the great sound. So, um, and at the recommendation of Steve of what he thinks sounds best. So yeah, have fun with the amp and uh, leave any questions below in the comments and subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll help you out however we can. All right, see ya.